So guys, that is a call from a sales expert in Digital Launchpad. His name is Nemaya Jordan. Love that guy. So far, um, he's been able to give so much value through the calls. And yeah, I'm, I'm just let it play in the background while I, uh, I guess, wrap up this video. I have a lot of respect for the Digital Launchpad community because with the calls, with the people I've named there already, um, to anyone who, who knows me and is watching this video, um, you know, I, I appreciate it. Uh, I've gained a lot of value from the community, the calls, and it's just, I realized that, you know, you know when you have like advice, um, I realized, I learned this, that with advice, that people, people put advice that is um, tailored, which is, you know, masked over as important, saying that it's the most important of all, trying to be, you know, factually correct and saying, you know, this is what tops everything. But I've kind of, I've kind of come to observe that that is not the case. And people simply put advice as important, depending on how it tailors to their situation. So I'm not going to say that my advice is the most important. It tailors to my situation, but I've come to realize, um, I've come to realize that the biggest thing to success is just having the right people around you. Uh, most of the times you don't have the right people around you. Um, and let's be real, 90, 99% of people, if not more, um, are not serious and will never pursue a path like this just simply because it's, well, it's just a normal path by itself. Not everyone can do entrepreneurship. Um, but just also the general ideas and, you know, the beliefs surrounding entrepreneurship, you don't, you don't get support from doing it. Most of the time you don't get support from doing it uh, because most of the time you're surrounded by friends, parents, teachers, just, just any, any adult, any, you know, peers around you, which will tell you that it's risky, that it, that it's hard. That it's, you know, they'll always try to, sh they'll shoot you down, basically, or they'll talk you out of it if you ever mention it. And it's, um, it's tough. And that's why a lot of people, such as myself, go on to just not say anything, to not complain about these things, to kind of keep, you know, my mouth shut. Just because it's not a space that is necessarily still respected, even though today it's more viable to create an online business than it has ever been like the internet is very new so um, well it's only like 20 24 years old i would say around that like just just off the base assumption that it started in the 2000s uh, or year 2000 it's pretty it's pretty new so but guys i'm gonna wrap it up here i hope you've enjoyed this video it's just been rough but once i can get this project out and uh once the weather you know gets a little bit better which it will i'll be able to start really really focusing most of my time after you know getting out the schoolwork and whatnot on 80 percent of you know business learning business in the learning phase and actually doing the thing and then the other 20 percent uh, you know dedicated to um doing content making content for you guys you know getting out my you know completing my delegated tasks just really staying on top of things with you know managing work managing my time and you know ensuring i'm on the ball with you know the plug and plays that they give me and um all all that stuff all that good stuff that i've been able to get and all that value i've been able to get from the digital launchpad program i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys this but unfortunately i'm gonna have to blur it anyways so it's kind of like a you know, like, what's the point, but I'll just explain it as it's blurred out. Uh, this is like a contractor, uh, you know, non-disclosure agreement, plug and play. Um, it's basically just got a fill in the blanks, uh, you know, of the terms and conditions when working, when working uh, with a uh, contractor, getting a contractor on board, which, would it, which is what it kind of looks like. Another one is this client agreement. Uh, for content uh, so this is another plug and play fill in the blanks and yeah just covering basically a simple signature agreement between a client you know to ensure that 
you can work with them and there isn't any uh and you know that there is clarity on what's being shared and what is being used um for the client and uh you know on your social media as well so if you've enjoyed this video leave a like uh comment let me down below any feedback, any criticism you have. I know you probably have plenty with how just boring this video is. Uh, so I completely understand. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not really here as in like, I'm just, I'm tired. Uh, like my night light is supposed to be on. I just, I'm not supposed to be even having, you know, the, the, the room light on right now. It's just like all that blue light is coming into my eyes, especially when, I'm trying to wind down, you know, a couple of hours before bed, you know, I have the, I have the Gadget G1s on, I have the red light, like, I don't know if you can see it, but I have like a bunch of red light on my uh, setup, so I just turn that on three hours before bed, put this on three hours before bed, and also my night light comes on at around you know, 8 8 p.m. when it gets a bit dark and the screen starts to get pretty bright for my eyes that all turns on and I just basically have like this night protocol to ensure that as soon as I get into my bed I'm able to actually get in and not be uh, disrupted by blue light and you know ensure I get a, the best sleep possible um, not that I already fuck up my day I really do need it so guys I hope you have enjoyed um, Hope you have enjoyed. I guess in the next video, I have a rough idea of what is to come in future videos. Uh, more so me just talking about, you know, my progress, routine, giving some tips here and there. Really just starting to integrate things and, you know, make it a bit more, a bit less boring and a bit more, a bit more appealing to watch um, and also make it shorter. I have a track record of dropping fucking big videos, so no wonder it's my fault how some of my videos uh, takes a shit long time to upload. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed saying that for the third time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon.